Ever since the sequel to the gospel was first known to the public, thousands of people all over the internet have made fans become excited of projects that they believe are official when in actuality they weren't. What will be the topic of today's video is FNAF trailers that look like they could be official but turn out to be made by fans. Who could have guessed? I will be looking at 5 trailers, more specifically the ones that got popular and we will be rating them on a score of 5 on how believable these trailers could be in terms of being named as official trailers by Scott. Disclaimer, most of them weren't made to fool anyone. They were just there because fans wanted to make them. But I'm just gonna take that reason and throw it out the window. I wanna keep you guys entertained and if we took that reason into account, this video will last a minute. I would rate it a 4 out of 5, partially because many tropes and cliches that are apparent everywhere in horror trailers are here in this video as well, such as the completely unnecessary jump scares and as quick as cuts of scary events happening all at once. I don't know why the security guard didn't close the door when Freddy was approaching him, which speaking of Freddy, those early SFM models of the FNAF characters, they're more goofy than scary. And what's even worse is that the YouTubers couldn't use any other models, so I'll let my criticisms on the SFM models slide for a bit, even if they weren't good in the first place. That is, in terms of being used to scare viewers. This would be a 3 out of 5 because the acting in this is really good or above average. However, the creator used SFM models in the weirdest way possible. Instead of them moving, it's just JPEGs, which does not look all that real, no matter how many filters you put on it. Also, why is the camera recording the guy in this scene with the filter of the security cams? I know I'm nitpicking there, but it's just kind of irritating. Good ending jump scare though. I would give this a 3.5 out of 5 due to there being text because how am I meant to understand when I don't have any glasses? The premise and atmosphere in this video is spot on where you're exploring a FNAF mall which now that I think about it, it kind of predicted FNAF security breach. The issue I have with the video though is that I don't understand why some guy would have to stay in a mall for 5 nights. Is he homeless? If that's the case, why would he have a phone? Plus that jump scare is weak at the end, it's not Marion's jump scare if you just saw two white dots as his eyes or her eyes whatever you be Kaye Mr. Freddy I'll give this one a five out of one. This one has to be the weakest of the bunch due to it being done entirely in Source Filmmaker. Yeah, the FNAF 3 trailer was all in SFM, but it was pretty unnoticeable because the atmosphere and the location was spot on and it barely looked like it was done in Source Filmmaker. Another problem, and I think it's the biggest problem for the video, is that a lot of blood came out of my ears when I was listening to it due to the dubstep being so loud. Plus it didn't fit all too well, so thanks for making me waste the next exercise book. Now we're up to the most popular trailer out of the bunch. If we ignore the fact that this was all done in SFM, this trailer gets a 4 out of 5. Cause god damn, those human models, they're stellar. My gripe with the trailer that's halting it from being a 5 out of 5 is the animatronics look weird. My theory for that would be that I've seen those animatronics done so much in fan art and stuff like that back in the day that looking at it now, it doesn't impress me. Well, that was a great look on FNAF trailers. Before we end this video, don't send any hate to the video videos that these guys created. It's immensely impressive that they could make something like this, especially with how little we all knew about FNAF in those days. Now let's segue into the outro, where you have to like, you have to share, you have to subscribe, you have to comment, you have to check out the videos in the description below and support the creators that made them even though they're probably dead at this point because why would you still be making videos in that time? I'm, oh well I was doing that on my map, but okay bye.